and welcome to Splotch Code. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make animated stories where your characters can talk to each other and the backdrops behind them will change. We're going to make a story about space, so I'm not sure that the cat is the right sprite to use. So let's get rid of the cat and let's go and find some space sprites. Okay, I'm going to choose Ripley. And then I'm going to choose Kieran. And I think I need one more. I'm going to get Monet. Okay, let's move them so they're not all on top of each other. There we go. That's our three sprites we're going to use. Now let's go and choose our background. Again, we want to use something that's space like so let's choose our spaceship yep that looks great and let's choose one more and space city okay right now what we want to do is we are going to start with them in the spaceship so let's go on to Kieran and choose when the green flag is clicked. We want the backdrop to be the spaceship. So if we go to looks, we can get switch backdrop to, and we want that to be the spaceship. Now we actually, if I just click on there, we can see now we're on the spaceship. But we don't actually want Monet to appear in our spaceship. So I'm gonna click on Monet. Monet hasn't got any code right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to events and I'm going to say when the backdrop switches to our spaceship, I'm going to hide Monet. And hide is under our looks, quite close to the bottom. And we'll hide. So if I click on the green flag now, you'll see when we start, we're in the spaceship and Monet isn't there. Right. Let's get Kieran to say something now. So we go and find the say block and he's going to say I think there is a planet down there and he'll say that for two seconds. So a little speech bubble will appear on the screen and it will stay there for two seconds. There we go. Now Ripley is going to reply. So again, we need to tell it when to start. So when the green flag is clicked, Ripley's going to say something. So that's under looks and we'll bring across the say. And Ripley's going to say, yes, I can see it. Should we land and explore for two seconds? Now we've both got both of them saying something. It's not going to quite work right now and I'll show you why. I'll click on the green flag and you'll see both of them speak at once, which really isn't like a conversation because obviously one of them needs to speak and the other needs to answer. So what we need to do is we need to bring in a wait. So if we go to controls, we can bring in a wait. And so before Ripley speaks, she needs to wait the amount of time that Kieran spoke. So if we go back over to Kieran, we'll see Kieran spoke. His words were going to appear for two seconds. If we go back to Ripley, we change this to be two seconds. Let's have a look now. Kieran says, is there this planet down there? Yes, I can see it. Perfect. Now there's actually like they're having a conversation. Right, now I'm going to get... Kieran to say something back. So again, he's going to need a wait because he now needs to wait for the time that it took Ripley to speak, which again was two seconds. And now he can say something else. And he's going to say, let's go. Right. So now they're going to land on the planet. So we want to change the background down to our space city. So again, under looks, we've got our switch background. And the switch background, 
we want to be to our space city. So let's have a look now. Kieran speaks, Ripley answers, Kieran says let's go and they switch to the other background. Now this is where we want Monet to appear. So if we go over to Monet now and we need to go to events again and this time we choose when the backdrop switches to the space city we want to show Monet. So again under looks we find show Let's have a look what happens now. So we're starting in the spaceship, Monet's not there. Kieran says, let's go. Background switches and there's Monet. Great. Okay, we're going to get Kieran to say hello. He's going to say hello to Monet. So we choose hello for two seconds. Now Monet can speak. So Monet is going to speak, but Monet is going to have to wait for the time that Kieran has spoken. So Monet appears, waits for Kieran to say hello, which again was two seconds. And now Monet is going to say, welcome to the planet splotch for two seconds. Now Ripley can reply. But we need to have this reply being after the background has clicked because this is this is all the, the comments that are here for Ripley are from when she was still in the spaceship. So we'll go to events and we'll choose when the background changes, backdrop change to the city. We will get Ripley has to now wait. Now Ripley has to wait for the time that Kieran said hello, which was two seconds, and the time that Monet said welcome. So that was another two seconds. So this time Ripley actually has to wait four seconds before she can speak. And now she can say, thanks for letting us visit. Now Kieran is going to say goodbye but again he's going to have to wait because the last time he spoke was when he said hello and after he said hello Monet spoke for two seconds and Ripley spoke for two seconds. So Kieran needs to wait four seconds and then he's going to say goodbye. So let's have a look just at this little bit, let's see what happens. Let's go, hello, welcome to Planet Splotch, thanks for letting us visit, goodbye. So now what we want to do is we want to have Kieran and Ripley go back to their spaceship. So to do that we will grab the switch backdrop to and instead of Space City, we choose Spaceship. Now, you remember when we had the code for Monet, we had written when the backdrop switches to the spaceship, Monet will be hidden. So that means automatically when, that, when we switch here, Monet will disappear, which is what we want because we don't want Monet back in the spaceship. So we switch back to the spaceship and then let's have Kieran say something else, he can say, what a nice planet that was. Okay, so that's our story finished. So let's watch it, but this time let's watch it on the full screen, which we can see by clicking up on this little, the little arrows at the top. And let's click the green flag and watch our story. I think there's a planet down there. Yes, I can see it. We can land and explore. Let's go. Hello. Welcome to Planet Splotch. Thanks for letting us visit. Goodbye. What a nice planet that was. Okay, let's take it back off of the full screen by hitting the arrows there. 
So you can see the different ways you can have your characters talking to each other. Keep you Remember, you've always got to put the weight, how many seconds it is to talk. You can have them talk for longer. If you wanted it to stay up on screen longer, to give people longer to read it, you can. And you can have different, more characters. You can have you get your characters to actually move. You can have them walking through the through the, the scenes, and you can make up lots of different stories based on all the different things you want to do with different characters and different backgrounds. So have lots of fun making your own stories. Thanks for watching Splotch Code.